What's up, YouTube? Uh, today I'm gonna. Uh, how's it going, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be changing the axle seals in my E36. You can see here, I just freshly organized my garage so I have much more space. I have about four feet in front of the car, four feet behind the car, and I'm pretty happy to get this stuff started because I'm excited to have more space working around. Let's get to it. So as you can see here, I got a fresh differential seal. This is gonna be going on my driver's side axle. Uh, basically what I was experiencing was that um, some differential fluid was leaking out, uh, especially along the side. I had replaced the other side before, but now that the, I noticed that the other side is leaking, I might as well do it because I have the extra part. In addition to that, you're gonna actually have to replace the inner ring that uh, holds the axle in place as well. And while I was at it, I also ordered six new uh, axle shaft bolts just to be safe because we are torquing this to about 50 foot pounds of torque. So shout out to my friend Connor who's helping me out today. <laughs> We're gonna be jacking it up from the rear subframe. Uh, as you can see, it's right below the differential in general. That way we can get both sides up onto jack stands fairly quickly. To make sure that everything is sturdy, I would give each angle a couple pushes. Because if you can't push it off, the car's not going to fall off the jack stands. So we got to take the exhaust off on this car now. Um, as you can see, the general idea is to undo these bolts so far. But in order for the axle to drop, we need to take out this. So we might have to also disconnect the soy bar link in order to get more clearance. Because we are going to be pulling out the axle flange in order to get access to the seal behind it. Basically my exhaust is simplified because I use some uh, two bolts right there, clamp mechanism on my... Uh, two and a half inch exhaust, so shouldn't be too bad to take this out. Hold you. Custom DIY exhaust is out. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking off the toy bar end link because I'm definitely going to need some clearance for this axle right here to fall down a little bit. So yeah, so now that I got some of these out, just rotate the wheel so that it comes all the way around. The handbrake's off now. Okay, so Connor and I, with a little bit of persuasion, got the... Uh, Sway bar to move a little bit further down. It actually was just caught on something. So now this whole axle is dropped down and you can see the bolts right here. And these will actually be replaced, but I won't replace them just yet. But now the next step is you can actually pull this axle out with a decent amount of force. Yeah. There we go. Tug. You gotta pull out nice and easy. There we go. The inner ring on the inside sits right here and that's what locks this axle in place so the next step is to actually try to remove that ring on the inside you're gonna need to do that with a pick so we actually have to undo these nuts right here and then pull this off and the seal is actually inside this ring so the whole thing should come out and we'll place it separately on a table and that's good okay so pretty much cracked all these loose so basically I'm holding my thumb down and then I'm getting the pick on the top side of the ring where it's exposed because I rotated it. And now you just rotate your pick and it should come out. And then you slowly work your way around. Slowly work your way around. So now that I got it out, we're actually going to just decrease it a little bit. I'm going to mark the original location of the seal with some Sharpie or some paint so that when I knock it out, I can place the new one in in the exact same position. And so now that I got a sharpie in there, should be all good to knock it out. So I found an old piece of pipe. This dent should be okay, but essentially this piece of pipe is about, I want to say two inches in diameter. And this piece of pipe actually can fit right around the metal sleeve on the inside so that it makes full contact with the seal. So that once I give it a couple hammers, it will actually slide it out slowly. So I'm going to hit around just to slowly walk its way out. So the thing is, is you can damage the old seal because you're just taking it out. But you just got to be careful not to score the inside of the casing. There we go. It's out. Boom. That metal tube. Boom. 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 
Yeah, so I'm taking some high temp silicone and I'm just gonna rub it around the outside, put a generous amount. This is overkill, you really don't need to do this, but it's always good too. And make sure you wipe off the excess on the inside. But I got a different piece of pipe that actually fits better. Now this is the crucial part. So right now we're just tightening it, and as you can see, as it gets tighter, the actual actually wants to turn, but that's okay, because that allows me to tighten all these bolts sufficiently and evenly before we actually torque it down. Okay, cool. that's all I need. Uh, all the bolts are torqued down, and we're pretty much ready to go. I just pretty much gotta hook this sway bar back up. It's as simple as putting it onto this ridge and bolting it up from the back. And then rebolting the sway bar link, and honestly, ready to drop the car down after that, and then we should be good. So it's the next day, and so I got everything buttoned up. I got the wheel back on. You can see below, I got the sway bar. I got the sway bar linked up. And honestly, it's not too bad. I actually buttoned everything back up myself. So the hardest parts of this differential seal was mainly after you get all the bolts loose. Uh, the actual casing that holds the actual seal is actually a little bit hard to take off. You have to pull it straight off, but at times I had to actually wedge a flathead to just like slowly wiggle it out. Um, but once you get that casing off, changing the seal itself is not that difficult. You just got to be very careful of tapping it into the correct original placement as the old seal. After you get the seal placed in, putting it back together is fairly easy. I just recommend putting some silicone glue here and there just to make sure everything seals up nicely. And if you need to, don't forget to top off your differential fluid, because of course, if you don't, it's gonna you're gonna hear a whining. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate your support, and um, I'll continue doing these DIYs, of course, and we'll see how this goes. See you guys.